Welcome back drinks fans and in today's video this is kind of my third uh, Christmas video I'm going to be showing you how to make a snowball but also how to kind of pimp it up I've got three variations here for you uh, the snowball is kind of the UK version of the US eggnog uh, it's been around absolutely decades you know I remember my parents uh, drinking this when I was a little nipper so we're talking 40 years ago uh, and I know stories about my grandparents and all that happening so the snowball has been around for a very very long time whether the snowball is a big deal in the US I don't know let me know in the comments below if you're watching my Canadian friends my US friends my Mexican friends and all you guys all around the rest of the world Europe China um, all that Australia let me know is the snowball a big thing around the world because I know it is a huge thing in the UK uh, so let's quickly dive into it what is uh, what is a snowball but to get to what is a snowball we have to first understand what uh, Warnix is what is Africa now Africa is a uh, kind of Dutch um, Dutch ingredients basically to sum it up this bottle uh, and Warnix has been the brand for donkey's years absolute donkey's years in fact I'm not actually sure in the UK there are other um, brands that are as easily accessible as what this is essentially what it is brandy based okay so brandy based we've got egg yolks we've got vanilla and we've got sugar so to sum it up essentially it is a brandy custard all right that is what it is um 17.2 percent abv if i remember rightly so third just under 35 proof um now the thing with this is they say i think it's six months isn't it I th i'm sure it's six months uh, yes, yeah, six months. It is fresh ingredients in there. There is no preservatives. There's no artificial colorings or flavors in there. Uh, so, you know, once opened, you've got to keep it in the fridge. You have to keep it in the fridge. And you also have to give it a good shake as well because, you know, once it's opened, it will start to oxidize very, very slowly. So it will become thick because, as I say, it's a brandy custard. Now, I know the whole egg thing as well puts a lot of people off people um, especially in the UK don't really go a bundle on egg flavored drinks it kind of puts them up but then you know people love custard and once you kind of put the two together and kind of put it dawns on people it's like oh, okay now uh, I'm not going to get too pretentious with this because the snowball is what the snowball is there's no point going all proper and fancy with it uh, because it just it will just never ever take off the snowball does exactly what it's supposed to do so I'm going to show you how to make it what the snowball is even even flipping tells you on the back of the bottle it's like the Aperol spritz you know the Aperol tell you how to make a spritz there is no rocket science about it at all we want 50 mil if I can pour it up there you see on the slow-mo how thick that is and then again look at that so it's proper proper sort of thick and gloopy it's, it's, it's custard it's alcoholic custard that's what it is now um, they say uh, they say fresh lime juice uh, and you could. I've got some fresh lime juice here. But do you know what? In the days of old, I don't think there's actually anything wrong with lime cordial. And for me, I 100% I prefer this with lime cordial. Just that little bit of sweetness. You can do lime juice and a bit of sugar if you wanted to. But don't faff around. Lime cordial is absolutely amazing. Uh, and I'm just going 25 mil of uh, lime cordial in there whatever lime cordial you've got not a problem and then obviously uh, we're going uh, lemonade that's the kind of thing i'll just measure this out um i normally go double the amount of lemonade to uh to avocar so there we go about 100 ml for that and then it's just ice that is it that is your snowball uh, i'll just put a bit of ice in there just to start off with and just give it a little stir you don't as i say you don't need to get any more prim and proper with a traditional snowball. It does exactly what it says on the tin. It's amazing, absolutely love it. Garnish, do you even need to garnish it? Would you garnish it on Christmas day? That is how a lot of people in the UK start Christmas day, a good old snowball. You know, it just does what it is. But here we go, so I've got two uh, so that's the classic. That is what a snowball is. If you're thinking, if you're searching for this and you found my video thinking, what is a snowball? That is exactly uh, what it is. It's kind of Advocar, Warnix, Warnix, Advocar. Warnix is the brand, Advocar is the drink. Uh, so I think Smirnoff is the brand, Vodka is the drink. So Advocar, Advocar is your drink. Uh, and then you've got lime juice, lime cordial, and lemonade. So let's take this on a little bit of a journey. Let's kind of just 
in the interest of just pimping up very, very slightly, um, the, the third one I'm going to show you is mind-blowingly good. I absolutely love it. But the second one I'm going to do is just a very, very obvious one. It's a champagne, champagne flip for this. Uh, so again, depending on the size of your um, of your champagne flute, I'm actually going a little bit less because uh, my champagne flute is a little bit smaller. So I'm going 30 mil of Advocar. I'm going about 15 mil of Lime Cordial. And we've lost the lid. So 15 mil, half an ounce of Lime Cordial. I'd love to know, can you get, can you get um, Warnix, can you get Advocar all around the world? I, I really want to know that, so let me know in the comments below. And then we just top up with Champagne if, you, if you're posh, or Prosecco if you're like us. Fizz, let's just give it a stir. Actually, other end barman, other end. There we go. <clears throat> that was really good. I'll tell you what else you could do as well. I've got these. I'll, put, I'll zoom into these on the close up. If you are entertaining on Christmas Day, and I know we're allowed in the UK uh, under COVID, and if you're watching this next year, you'll be thinking, what's all that about? Uh, you could pimp this up. Is some edible um, shimmers, some gold stuff you could just get on Amazon. I'll put links to this. The bronze one would be absolutely amazing. Bronze shimmer in there, just to kind of pimp it up a little bit. Actually, can we do that? Can we do that? Why not? Let's just do this live, live on camera. There we go. A little bit more. I wanted half a spoon. And we just kind of keep doing that. Just how quick inspiration, how to help you pimp up your drinks. Look at that, look. Mm. There we go. Bit of froth on there. So that is my champagne, uh, or Prosecco um, snowball, if you like. So again, we'll try and zoom in on that. You kind of get that shimmer going around there. Now, I want to show you my third one, because this is how I personally, oh, hello. Oh. This is how I personally drink it. And I'd love to, I take credit for the first part of this. This was me. The second part for this, uh, the little additional flip actually came from a client that I did an online, I do a lot of Zoom online cocktail masterclasses, especially this time of year. And and she very kindly, and like, a lovely name is Mandy. I'm not sure whether she follows me on YouTube. If you're doing, hello Mandy, thank you very much for this. But she said, you want to put a little bit of this in there and it's fine. I was like, oh, I've got some of that, so we'll try it. And oh my God, it blew my little mind. So, uh, with standard sort of thing again, I'm going 50 mil double bubble of my Advocar, my Warnix. I am going, as I've just done, uh, 25 mil, because we're a bigger glass, 25 mil, one shot of lime cordial. Then, I don't know why I'm putting that in there. Got to get the lid. Uh, then I actually love, let's put these over here. I love, because I love ginger and I love ginger ale, the spiced orange ginger ale. This adds an amazing flip. So this was this was kind of my little twist. So instead of lemonade or Sprite or whatever you want to use, um, I'm just going half a bottle essentially. It's 150 ml bottles. So, um, wow, two thirds of the bottle. That should be perfect. There we go. So I love that. You could quite easily stop there. You could just think, do you know what? That is perfect. However, as I say, I've got Mandy now to thank for this little flip, which blew my little mind. Let's just kind of give that a little stir around. Blend it up. It's just, as I say, in the UK, we don't do faff. I know I know the eggnog is a big, revered thing in the US and potentially around the world as well, but we don't really do eggnog that much in the UK. We really don't. Um, so the snowball is our thing. Now, here we go. So essentially that, Mandy said to me, get some sherry. So I've got some sherry. This, I'll be honest, is just a supermarket-owned brand. It's actually finest. I love this. It's Tesco's. I love this cream sherry. I have got Fino sherry and I've got a PX sherry in the fridge as well. Um, she said Fino sherry. Uh, I actually went with, um, so play about with your sherries. Um, oh, I, love, I do love a bit of sherry, especially at Christmas as well. 
uh, but cream, Harvey's Bristol cream or whatever you've got. Uh, and I just, and again, play about. I'm going just 15 mil, one five. One five mil of sherry, just in there. And oh my God, that brought these flavors alight. Really, really loved it. So just pop them in. Do you need to garnish? You could garnish. There's a few ways you could go. I've always got dehydrated orange, so we could go like a dehydrated orange in there. Let's find a little one to fit in this glass. There we go. Dehydrated orange. The other way you could, of course, do is like uh, like our American friends do with eggnog. You could. Uh, where's my grater? I've got. I've always got some nutmeg as well, so you could grate some nutmeg over the top if you wanted to. Just a bit of nutmeg, just to kind of let's do it on that one as well. There we go. But generally, I don't think you need to bother too much with this. This is kind of my snowball. So let's say, uh, where's it gone? The Spy Fever Tree Spiced Orange Ginger Ale. But just with that hint of sherry, that is flipping amazing. And when I gave it to Mummy Barman to taste after I did this Zoom, her little eyes light up, lit up because she absolutely loves this. Uh, her classic snowball, as I said, drunk it for years. Her little eyes lit up. She absolutely loved this with the sherry and that. So all you classic snowball fans, I promise you, try it with the spiced orange ginger ale or even ginger, normal ginger ale if you fancy. But the spiced orange ginger ale... Um, Again, because of the brandy base in there, we know brandy goes with orange, we know brandy goes with ginger, we've got that custard notes, but then that just that little hint of sherry in there is absolutely 100% amazing. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed my little riffs on a snowball. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't done already. Uh, hope if you're watching this around about Christmas, have a very, very Merry Christmas. And then hopefully I will see you in my very next video.